So in this blog, I want to talk about differences between academic writing and creative writing. I was talking to another uh, Crooked Cat author whose name is Tim Taylor online, and it's just an interesting uh, conversation, I think. So I'm, I was an academic, sort of, I guess. I have a PhD in, in English literature. I don't really do as much academic work anymore, um, mainly because uh, <laughs> I guess because I don't, I don't get paid to do it. Uh, I, I do English as a second language or more so now. In any case, uh, all of that is to say that, uh, I was thinking a lot about differences between academic writing and creative writing. Um, and now I'm just, I'm mainly doing creative writing. So I think for me, the biggest difference is basically that whenever I was doing academic writing, I would focus on analyzing theme and maybe character. So I'd have a theme like um, surveillance in a novel. Like how, how often does a, a novelist reference surveillance? How do those characters respond to surveillance? And, and what does that all mean in relation to the novel? But then I would also take what that might mean in the novel to and connect it to larger social issues. So, so theme was probably the most important part of academic writing and analysis. Um, whereas I think that in creative writing, um, you can't focus on theme uh, quite as much, and especially not to the detriment of plot. And I think that that's another, it's, it's a bit of an issue, I think, too, with the types of uh, novels that academics tend to focus on, which are usually not plot-driven novels. Um, so I think that one of the major distinctions differences between academic writing and creative writing is that academic writing tends to focus more so on theme, whereas creative writing, um, depending on the genre, uh, might have more of a uh, inclusion of, of, uh, of plot 